Good morning, AC. It's Monday, October 3rd, and I'm Don Viazzi here to bring you your morning announcements with Braden McConnell. Attention juniors and seniors currently in National Honor Society, we'll be having an all-member meeting this Wednesday during advisory in Ms. Heller's room. This is a meeting that is mandatory and all and every attempt should be made to attend. Please see Ms. Heller if you need to pass. Students Against Destructive Decisions, or SAD, is a 9th to 12th grade student-run club dedicated to safety and wellness of our students at AC. They are a group that advocates for healthy decisions. They are looking for old and new members to join them for their first meeting in room 206. During advisory, please see Mrs. Smith or Mr. Lelick if you have any questions. It is that time once again for the AC Homecoming Medallion. It will be hidden somewhere in the high school campus. If you're the lucky one to find it, you should head to Ms. Pahulski's room in room 223 to receive your prize. Your first clue is the medallion is near the area of a sport both loved by girls and boys. Do you want to be a part of our homecoming pep rally? Then you should sign up to participate in one of our games during the rally. Check Schoology for the link to a Google form to sign up today. For you sports fans, field hockey is playing today at 4 p.m. at In The Net. Today's lunch will be a sweet and spicy barbecue chicken ball with seasoned corn and steamed broccoli. Happy birthday to Megan Brophy and Caleb Dumund. And that's all for your announcements today, AC. Have a great Monday and enjoy your day. Here's this week's Minithon Monday. Before June of 2016, we were just any normal family that grows up and lives in central Pennsylvania. And then we found out on June 3rd of 2016 that uh, we weren't so normal anymore. Um, we learned that our daughter Ashlyn, at eight years old, when she was on her last day of second grade, um, had leukemia. There's people here to help. And it was like the second time in a period of a couple days where everything was chaotic. And once again, the switch that showed me this little glimmer of hope was Four Diamonds. Everything you do through Minithon for Four Diamonds, for these families like mine, it means something and it is impacting people's lives, and it does matter. I want you to continue to do what you're doing. I want you to continue to have fun doing it because look, that's what this should be about too. This past Saturday, we had the opportunity to celebrate one year cancer-free for Ashley. The reason she's here is because of 